I finished porting Blackout Comms to the TB one watt. I'm gonna do a quick review of it to give you my impressions of it. First, I'll make this really nice custom enclosure. For the first test, I'm driving out to different spots to see how well this T-Beam 1 watt can send and receive from my base stations. I'm surprised I'm not picking up the, oh, there we go, okay. Okay, so this has the rubber ducky antenna and an amp. I have two neighbors here. When I turn on the T-beam, it should show two neighbors. So I'm gonna power it on. Yeah, that doesn't look too good on video. Okay, I've got one neighbor. Okay, now it's got two. It sees both devices, so I'm gonna drive a little farther. So it's six and a half miles on pretty good. I'm 11 miles from the house and it's got two neighbors and those are both of my base stations at home. I'm gonna ask it right now, who do you see? If it sees 007, then that means the pings from the T-beam are getting to it. Okay, so I got my answer back. Nope. Well, I did try a couple of times from here, although this can receive at uh, 11 miles from the base station, the base station is not seeing it, so it can't transmit quite that far. Uh, this amp TDAC can, but this is putting out about 2.3 watts, so I'm going to go a little closer and see what I come up with at a closer range. Now I'm at um, 9.5 miles from the house, I'm going to ask if the base station can see it now. Okay, I got my answer at nine and a half miles. Uh, it does see the T-beam one watt. Be sure on the distance. Okay, I'm showing 15 kilometers from the base station. For the next test, I am comparing how well this T-beam one watt compares with the T-beam Supreme, which uses a lot less power. What I'm gonna do is have these side by side. I'm gonna put them outside on a ladder and then drive away from them where I can check the strength signal of one versus the other. I have to have this one plugged in because I let the battery get low and it's got a motion sensor on it. There they are up on top of that ladder. So at one and a half miles on the amped, the T-Beam 1 watt is showing negative 75. T-Beam Supreme showing negative 88. Uh, I'll drive a little farther. I'm a mile and a half out with my amped T-Deck. Here we can see well, both devices there. Both have a pretty good signal. The T-Beam 1W is 1 watt. Proximity 1 is the T-Beam Supreme. So here the T-Beam 1 watt has a little bit better RSSI than the T-Beam Supreme. And it seems like I'm getting more regular pings from the 1 watt and missing them here and there from the T-Beam Supreme. For the last test, I'm trying to figure out whether the T-Beam 1 watt would make a good base station or whether there might be better choices. So at three and a half miles, I've got a pretty good signal to the T-Beam 1 watt also to my main base station, just to double check, 5.2 kilometers away. This pager does not have an amp on it. And obviously the, the van's got a good signal. And there's the uh, T-Beam 1 watt. I'll go ahead and see if I can send. And I just sent a test message to my T-Beam 1 watt. It worked just fine, uh, three miles that way. Uh, I'm gonna go a little farther. I'm about, uh, se I think about seven miles out and I've got a signal from my base station. Uh, it's coming through the woods, so. And just to double check, about 14 kilometers. That's not really the device I'm looking for. I'm looking for the T-beam one watt, so.
I'm just going to go a little farther till the edge of the woods so it doesn't have to go through quite this much brush. So both devices actually have a connection to my main base station right here, so that's pretty good. And neither one is seeing the 1 watt T-beam. If you're looking for something to use more like a base station, the T-Beam 1 watt is pretty good, but it's not as much better than the T-Beam Supreme as what I was hoping it would be. It, it definitely does have more power. If I was looking for something to use as a high-powered base station, I probably would go with a different device, may, maybe even a T-Beam Supreme, but an external amp. The external one watt amp that I've reviewed before seems to do better than this one. A lot of that may come down to timing, how I have the timing in the firmware. I'm seeing better performance out of the one watt sun hands. For reference, this is the sun hands one watt amp, which you can get off Amazon for I think about 120 bucks, and it's very solid. You don't have to have a radio license to use this. Uh, this is actually putting out 1.3 watts, so you would need to have a radio license. This needs a 12 volt power supply. This doesn't. Size-wise, for something that does have a built-in amp, you could easily fit this uh, into an enclosure that you could stick on a backpack or something. Whereas something with a dedicated amp like this and needs its own battery, it's going to take up more room. So maybe for a mobile amped device you're going to use as a tracker or something. This would actually probably be better than the T-Beam Supreme for that. I just wouldn't personally use it as a base station probably. But this is the antenna it came with which seems to do pretty well. Um, this is the one I was receiving the pings from 11 miles away but it was from my, my high power base station. It seems like this is designed to be able to swap the battery out uh, pretty easily and it does have a hard on off switch. Oops, I'm not going to turn it on with this. Don't turn it on without the antenna on. I'm getting about 24 hours off of one of these batteries.